Hi, Tangri Cyclist. It's uh, 6.30 a.m. and today is uh, Mangan Day. <laughs> The sun is rising. I am in Valsugana now, in the southeast of Trentino. It's marked by the flow of the Brenta River. Around uh, Valsugana, you can find uh, seven municipalities like uh, Fulgaria and La Barone, and uh, the chain of uh, Lagorai. Now it's time to turn left and head into Telve and the climb starts immediately. I'm not sure but I think that uh, from here Telve to the Mangan Pass there are at least uh, 20 kilometers and the climb starts uh, immediately with the uh, 7%. Here we are, it's Mangan time. Seven hundred fifty meters above the sea level, we have to get uh, two thousand. Mangan Pass is about uh, two thousand meters above the sea level, and now I am uh, in the middle. Today I am approaching the Mangan from the south side. I mean from uh, Borgo e Sugana. And the idea is uh, to do the same ride uh, in the opposite way, so approaching the Mangan from the north side. Just two kilometers to get the top, but uh, they have an average of uh, 10%. Pass is done. Ow, 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 ow. Graveyards are a safe solution when you have to refill your bottle. This is a real bike path, separate physically from the road. The problem is when you lose the entrance, you don't have possibility to get it again. Okay, Mangan from the south side is done. I remember it uh, a bit harder than now, than today. Probably because uh, the first time I did it, I was a junior and I used uh, 42 per 25. Today I used a gravel bike, so the gears are different. The second time I did uh, Mangan was during uh, Transalp in MTB from Mittenwald to Riva de Garda on uh, 1996, I think. I'm not sure, but it was a different situation. We were in a race, it's not comparable. Now, I think uh, to end uh, the ride with uh, 111 kilometers, I am at the Adunazzo Lake uh, near the camping, and that's all. I remind you to subscribe to the channel as usual, put your like, uh, and see you for the next ride. Bye-bye.